So last one that we're going to work on, ladies and gentlemen, is just going to be the zero power. And the zero power, all that simply states is whenever you have any term raised to the zero power, we're going to have that equal to 1. All right? And let's just kind of go back through. If you guys know that x squared equals x times x, x to the first equals x by itself, x cubed equals x times x times x. All right? So a number multiplied by itself zero times, if you just kind of work back, well, if you kind of work into a, uh, let's go and take a look at this. Let's take a look at the number three, OK? Um, if you were to write in three, three cubed is 27, right? Three squared is nine. Three to the first power is three. Let's see what three to the zero power would be, which we'll get to. Three to the negative first power is now going to be one third. Three to the negative second is one ninth. And three to the negative third is one over 27. Now we have a place value that we need to put in there, right? You guys see how we have this missing place value for zero? Now we look at kind of we look at the pattern of what is you know kind of the difference in looking at these videos, and what we can say mm -hmm. that three to the zero power, or when it works for any number, is going to be one. All right. So just remember, any number raised to your zero power, just like how I kind of work with the threes here by putting them to the positive exponents and then to the negative. When you kind of work your direction, you're going to have that place value three. Your number raised to the zero power which is going to always equal 1. All right? There you go.